guys welcome to my channel it's getting dark as you can see and like I just filmed this video but it wasn't good and I was too rambly so I'm gonna redo the whole thing and I'm so sorry that it's gonna get darker as this video goes on but whatever okay so today I just wanted to talk about um, school I wanted to talk about school because um, I don't know, you clicked on this video for a reason, so I'm sure you know why. The title is probably pretty self-explanatory, but I guess I'm just going to go into why I dropped out of school and, like, just all about that and why education is something that needs to be reconsidered if you feel like it's not for you. And as much as I don't want to preach drop out of school, I'm also really big on doing things that serve you and that make you feel good and I don't know. So I'm just gonna get into the video now. Sorry if the video goes out of focus because it's dark. The camera has a hard time like staying focused, but yeah. Okay, so why did I drop out of school? <sighs> a few reasons. So I'll tell you why I dropped out and where it brought me. So I dropped out because I realized that every job that I've ever worked, I hate. Not only that, every class I've ever taken, I've hated. I switched my major so many times. I, I did graduate, by the way, guys. I graduated in um, business management in college. Then I pursued further education in university. So I did graduate, but I was pursuing a marketing diploma, started off with production, started off with Bachelor of Fine Arts. I did a couple things. And I realized that no matter how many times I switched my major, I hated what I was doing because it wasn't about the major. It was about me just hating school. And then I kind of sat with the idea of like why am I in school and I realized that every single reason went back to my parents like satisfying my parents you go to school you get a good job you make good money blah 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 and then I started thinking about the jobs that my education would get me and I realized I didn't want any of them I just wanted them because they were good jobs but I didn't want to do any of them in fact I hated the idea of doing any of them and I sat with that and I'm like what am I doing like what am I doing like obviously there's more that went behind this thought process but I'm trying to summarize it for you guys like it really came down to why am I in school and the reasons that I came up with all led back to satisfying my parents and to me that wasn't enough eventually I spent most of my life thinking that was enough of a reason to just go to school and eventually I came to the idea that like I don't actually have to do anything that I don't want to do and it sucks and it hurts to disappoint people that you love but it's my life and I just knew that if I went to school for another couple years and then got a job that I hated I would be stuck in that lifestyle and life would pass me by and I'm like right now I'm building this momentum with my career I just got a book deal with a publishing agent I just launched this I started my company I am working on my YouTube channels and things were going well for me so I'm like why would I put all of this on pause decline this book deal and go to school to graduate in two years and get a job that I hate when I can just kind of put that on pause pursue the things I love school will always be there school's not going anywhere the problem was that my parents gave me an ultimatum, which is that I had to pretty much choose my life um, in terms of like, it was a tough decision. So like, they pretty much said to me, if you're not in school, then you're going to have to move out because you're only allowed at home because you being in school is your rent. You're getting educated right now, so it makes sense for you to be living rent free. But if you are not in school, then you're going to have to go be an adult and go live on your own. And I thought they were bluffing, I thought it wasn't real, and it was just like the worst time because I was like, holy shit, like, I have to move out, what? And I sat with that, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry, I'm such a baby. I sat with that for months, I finally made my decision, and I was like, I don't want to be in school. And if that means I have to go and struggle and work ten times harder, <laughs> then I'm just gonna have to do it because I don't want to be in school. So... I told my parents my decision and I think they thought I was bluffing and I made the decision to drop out of school. 
so that meant that I had to move out and this was tough because like I like my parents paid for my education so they pretty much said like if you move out drop out like if you want to go back to school like yeah you can come home but you're gonna have to pay for school yourself and that's hard because right now like because at that time I wasn't paying for school you know like and school's expensive school's expensive so it was a really big decision and I don't blame them for you know giving me that ultimatum because I'm a grown woman and and it's just it is what it is like I made the decision like yes they gave me the ultimatum but I made the decision so I know that they were just good being good parents and I respect that it was hard and I wish I wasn't put in that situation but it, it is what it is like when you have traditional parents that really value education like it makes sense and I, I don't you know like I'm fine with it it's okay so hold on <laughs> commercial break okay oh shit what's the drink called hi, there. <clears throat> hi could I get a grande iced vanilla chai with soy okay so grande iced vanilla lot uh wait you want like with espresso or without espresso um, doesn't it, it normally comes without espresso, right? So you wanna, okay, then you wanna try latte with ice and you wanna add vanilla syrup. Right? Yeah. But some people like prefer espresso. When, oh, okay. I don't really know what you mean when, like, when you say vanilla chai, you know? Yeah. Like yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Um, I'll get that, please. Yeah, with soy. Yeah, with soy. And I'll do, um, pumpkin cream foam on top. Sure, anything else? No, that's it. Okay, 790. Thank you. Hello? Hola, she va a la casa. Yeah, I'm every time I come to the Starbucks, this employee is always the same girl. She pretends that like she doesn't understand what I'm trying to say, and I know she does, like because I've worked retail and I know exactly what like you want people to say things in your language, but like I don't work at Starbucks, I don't know how to order certain things. Um, so she gets very like passive aggressive and corrects me every time and pretends she doesn't understand me, and it's so weird. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you got that vibe from her, if you heard her in the order. Um, the only reason why I say that is because she does it every single time, no matter what I'm ordering. Like, if it was a one-time thing, fine, but she does it every single time. It's so strange. Anyways. Yeah, so my parents, um, that's what happened, and I made the decision. It took, me, it took me months to make the decision, and I ended up choosing to drop out. Oh my god, it's getting so dark. I gotta wrap this shit up. Let me just try this drink, because I've never tried it before. Oh, it's a lot better. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so much better than I thought it would be. I thought I didn't like pumpkin topping, but that shit's bomb. What? That is so good. Okay, so <clears throat> I made the decision and I don't regret it. Are, is life hard? Yes. Was that first year hard? Absolutely. The first year is coming to, oh my god, it's been a year now. It's been exactly a year because it was last October that I moved out. And um, it was hard, like I went broke, like shit was tough. I constantly said to myself, did I make a mistake? Like it was so tough. And I have finally settled with the decision for months now I settled with it. That like I made the right decision because I made it for me and nobody else. And anytime I come to think like, did I fuck up? It, all, it always roots back in the fear of disappointing my parents. and. If you think about that, it's not it's not fair to fear that because it has nothing to do with with you. If you are settled and happy and proud of yourself, nothing that anybody else feels should should tarnish that. And that's something that I'm struggling with, if I'm being honest. Like I'm not going to sit here and act as if I don't think about that and I don't cry about that every now and then like that I've upset them or that they think I'm a failure or that they think I'm this and these are not things that they've said by the way These are not things that they've implied that they've said nothing like they don't do that They don't they don't speak negatively to me about what I do at all I just think about it and I overthink it and it gets to me But I have to put myself in check and luckily like I have a boyfriend who's so supportive and so like amazing about that kind of thing that he like puts me in check as well and yeah it's just tough so just know that when you make the decision like you're making it for you and nobody else so if you fuck up and if you fail it's that's on you and if as long as you're settled and at peace with that that's all 
that should matter so if that's something you want to do if you want to pursue something you love and that means not attending post-secondary or dropping out of post-secondary school will always be there school will always be there i will probably go back to school one day i value education it just wasn't for me at that time in my life so if i'm being honest you just gotta make that decision for yourself and live with it and stick to it and nothing else will be able to hurt you in this year I moved on my own, I became self-sufficient, I became self-aware, I grew mentally, spiritually, emotionally, I went through heartbreak, my cat died, went through a global pandemic, isolated myself from everyone, quit my job, learned how to be an independent woman, grew the fuck up. This all happened in one year and it was a rough year. I went into a depression, it was, it was tough but like I wouldn't change it for anything and like I just I had it had to happen for me to grow into the woman that I've meant to become and to become my higher self so I I don't regret anything I'm grateful I I don't really know how else to say it like I'm grateful and I don't really know what else to say about it all I know is that I made the right decision and even though things get hard sometimes, I'm able to look in the mirror and know that everything I'm doing is for me and nobody else. And that's enough, that's enough. Even though it doesn't feel like it sometimes, it is enough. So yeah, if, if you're thinking about dropping out of school, do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do it if you know it's the right decision for you. Just do it and um, make the time away from school the best decision that you've ever made and just act accordingly don't be stupid you know like don't don't just drop out and have no plan like make sure you have a plan and you have a goal and and you're going you're working towards something like don't just drop out and be like yeah i'll figure it out um have a plan and yeah it's getting dark as you can see the only light source we have right now is from the car in front of me that's why i'm red so i'm gonna go i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it resonated with you if it did please leave me a comment down below please engage with my videos the more you guys engage comment like share the more it gets boosted into the algorithm recommended all that stuff so it really helps me out so even if it's a bullshit ass comment leave a comment just to push it through youtube you know it's hard for creators to be recognized now it's getting harder and harder every year so I really appreciate that. I'm gonna enjoy my pumpkin cream chai latte. This is so bomb, I got it from TikTok. It tastes like um, bubble tea without the tapioca. Um, so yeah, I love you guys and thanks for sticking with me on this channel. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go home now. Bye guys.